You know, Tracy, you're really growing up. Today, you've been a very good boy. Oh, who can that be? Better get to bed now. All right, Pa. Who's there? It's me, Django. Thompson wants to see us right away. Come on in. No, Clint. Don't go. Good shooting, Clint. I was getting tired of waiting, just rotting away. <laughs> Might have been rotting away there myself. Let's go. Logan's waiting for us at Twin Oaks.
Throw your rifle down. Do as I said. Stand up. Turn around. Start working. I'm in a big hurry and I need your horse. I'm in a hurry too. Don't ever put up a fight with a gun pointing at you. Don't worry. And I'll pay you for the horse. Oh. Have a good sleep.
Pay for it. Here you are. Huh. Okay. That's a beautiful saddle, friend. Run and tell the sheriff that the man he's looking for has arrived. It's Logan, the one with the Mexican saddle. He'll understand what I'm talking about. Get going, quick. You all set? Yeah. Enough for a double? Yeah. Whose horse is that with a Mexican saddle? I said, whose is it? It's not for sale. I'll pay you well for it. I've had enough business for today. Dangerous character. They wanted to kill me. <laughs> Self defense, huh? Same old story. Why don't you find out what happened? Judge? I, uh, Sheriff, didn't see anything at all. Honest, I didn't. And you, Pedro, come here. What happened? I didn't see nothing, Sheriff. <laughs> You can tell everything to the judge. Now move.
Bring the horse. Tie him up over there. It was self-defense, Sheriff, and you know it. All I know is that you killed three men, mister. <laughs> he doesn't listen. Save your breath. Want to play a hand of poker? I don't like to play alone. Even for two, it isn't interesting. Now, if I were to shuffle these poker cards, we could have a game just us two together. Although two at poker is enough to make chills run up your spine. But it's better than nothing. No? Well. <laughs> they know me as the Frenchman. Voila. I was born in Paris. I trained at Monte Carlo, and the four races were always mine. That sometimes works against me. But I'm four races. That's me, four races. When I was arrested, I was in a game and was winning with four aces. It was the first time a sheriff arrested me. And I wasn't cheating. He appeared right out of nowhere and made all my stacks of dollars disappear right up into thin smoke. What a strange sheriff. Why did you eliminate those three? You may confide. Consider me a friend. I don't like nosy people. Hmm. <laughs> Listen, we should try to make a kind of mutual agreement to stick together. Hmm? You look like a good, strong character. <laughs> In my profession, I sum people up at first glance. <laughs> You're the type of man will follow an enemy to the end of the earth. <laughs> Since I've been in America, I have known a couple of them. I have no problems since I left Paris. Paris, mon cher Paris. <laughs> you don't know what I left behind me. <laughs> what was I saying? I had to leave quite fast. Wearing only what you see on me. <laughs> In my France, they cut your head off. But here, at least, they string you up. And so, here I am. A man of the world. Gambler, gunman, and whatever you like. And you? Oh, you are keeping quiet. <laughs> Et alors? Un, deux, trois, quatre, voilà. Tell Clay that the big fish is in the net. Are you sure? Yeah, I know by the saddle. Tell him to send mm. someone to get him. Right. And don't forget the money, Hurricane.
this okay? Logan. <laughs> so you're the one with the horse, huh? Listen, Logan. He wiped out three of Clay's ranch hands. Do you think he can join up with us? Pretty good with a gun, huh? Well, you're pretty good with your fist, too. You think so? Ah, it's good to have it again. Bet you ran into a heap of trouble with this saddle, huh? Didn't make things any better for me. You coming with us? There's a way you can make a pile of money. Nope. I'm going south. So are we, to Topeka City. There's a rancher there named Clay Ferguson. He's the boss of a saloon and owns half the county. Now he's after much more of it, the other half. When he realized we were coming, he sent his killers after us. <laughs> the three in the saloon? <laughs> That's right. There's a rancher. Who has the other half? He wants it all, too. He needs help, and he'll pay well. So, four aces and me are riding with him. His name's Thompson. All in all, it's a kind of private war. There's $500 in it for you. You want it? What do you say? Is it too little? Well, I'm not interested. Hey, where you going? Listen, Thompson, I'm not a bit afraid. Sure, sure, Grayson, I understand. Mac, any news of Logan? No. 
But you see, Thompson, my ranch is so isolated. Uh, Logan and one of my other men should be here soon. They'll take good care of Clay and his band of killers. Uh, look here, Grayson. One of the newest coats. It's got a beautiful action. If I could get my hands on some more of these. Well, you and all the others are in complete agreement to fight Clay, right? Sure thing, Thompson. The truth is, your ranch is built like an army fort. As for us, we're wide open. Clay can attack at any moment. Calm down, Grayson. Calm down. Listen, you and all the other ranchers rest easy. Trust in me. Logan is a man, and he always plays rough. <laughs> and Clay will see it. Bet. Ain't that right, stranger? Sign here. I figure you are very lucky. Just so happens one vacant room left. <laughs> Will you follow me then? <laughs> it's the best room that we got. One dollar in advance. You see, I'd be trusting you, but... But here in Topeka, strangers tend to cut out pretty fast. Those who stay long hereabouts usually end up in the cemetery. Even our preacher had to beat it out of town real fast. Hope the new preacher won't run away, too. Can you tell me where Thompson's ranch is? Sure. But if you're looking to go there, and you can't supply no good reason for going, forget it. That's what I say. Why? Well, I wanted to warn you. The problem ain't just going out to that ranch of Thompson's, but in returning to town and not ending up in that cemetery. That is, if he just doesn't like the idea of you visiting. But instead, if Thompson welcomes you, it'll be that Clay fellow will kill you, I can guarantee you that. Clay? Clay. Sure enough. It's better if I explain everything from the very beginning. When Thompson arrived here from Montana, about nine or ten years back, Clay was the foreman of his ranch. Before long, Clay bought property. Of course, now they're enemies. It's just those two, all on their own, fighting like a pack of prairie dogs to see who's going to win over the territory. Oh, I see. Good. These gents will shoot you full of lead before they ask you what you come around for. You still feel like going out to that ranch now? Well, I can see that you're tired. I'll go back downstairs and let you get some rest. Oh, and remember, you pay one dollar for each day that you plan to occupy the room.
Grayson, you seem to be in a hurry. Mr. Clay says you can't postpone that payment. Let me go, will you? I owe nothing to your boss. He's only a blackmailer. No, George, Wait please. a minute. What was that word I just heard you say? Blackmailer? But it ain't good to use vulgar language like that in the presence of a lady. Why don't you send her on over to see Mr. Clay? I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Maybe you can have a discount. Bad example you're setting. <laughs> a real shame, ain't it? <laughs> right now, mister, a little lesson. Oh! Oh, no, please stop it! Help! Help! Oh! George! Sheriff! Help! Oh, someone, help! George! Oh, George! around 
take your hat off. Well, what happened in town? Logan and some of Thompson's men attacked us unexpectedly. Why, they should have been either dead or in jail. They jumped us while we were teaching that pig Grayson a little lesson. You know my orders, didn't you? You gave orders to the sheriff, not to me. Hmm. You stupid idiot. I'll destroy Thompson in my own way. <laughs> Sing with us? I'd love to. Howdy, partner, what's new with you? Held up a stagecoach or two. Here comes the sheriff, what life they? We skipped town yesterday. Why don't you boys try settling here? This ain't the right time of year. I got a sister pretty as me. You're barking up the wrong tree. Now listen, boys, you can't keep running. Maybe not, but we should try. Who want you when you're all done in? I reckon you got us on something, just ask me. Now remember. Not social. Huh? a drink to celebrate the flop. Is that why you're being paid, hmm? Your boss is right. He's one of them. You're wrong. I ain't with anybody. We can fix that. I need some good men. How much? 
Keep your money. You'll need it again to replace all your men who will be killed. I don't like anyone who shoots at my men. And I don't like people who use women. Your whiskey is the worst I've ever drank. Like your suggestions. I can wait. Be sure of that. It's dangerous to be against me. Maybe. Hold it! Didn't you hear the boss's orders? Control yourself. Idiots. What's happened? Who is this man? I want to know everything I can about him. Don't make a move. Thompson's waiting for you. Let's go. Okay. Boss, the horses are all saddled. And the men are ready to go. Anything else? No, Slim. Go and tell them to wait for my orders. Okay, boss. Well, amigo, you want to see me, why? I want to speak to you. Alone. Get out. Didn't you hear what I said? Go ahead. I'm Django's son. He was shot in the back. And our house was set on fire. I was nine years old then. Listen, I've struggled for 20 years to be somebody, and I still find Django on my trail. Your father and I weren't friends, but I had nothing to do with his murder. You were there that night, so you should know who murdered him. No, but I have a good memory for names, and that night, I heard a name. Thompson. You better be sure before you accuse me. Right. I want proof. I'm going to be your shadow until I have it. Well, I'm not afraid of proof, see? But you'd better watch out. No one stays alive who accuses me of killing. It's time to finish with Clay. Oh, yo, I... Uh, well, we'll see what Thompson says. Good idea. Oh, hello there, Jeff. What are you doing here? He's looking for a man. I wish him luck. Mac! He's leaving. I'm not armed. I have found this book to be stronger than the Colt 45. Have you come here to preach me a sermon? Nope. But I would like to talk with you. About what? I saw that scene in the street. Your helpless godsend. You remind me of a man I knew years ago. He was as clever with the guns as you are. That gives you the right to force your way into my room? No. Tell me, why have you come to Topeka? I know you ask about a man named Thompson. With all due respect, Padre, that is my business. Now, if you're through with the sermon... Not quite. My name is Gus Fleming. You see, 
Years ago, I was a gunfighter. A good one. As good as my friend Django. But Django was betrayed. They shot him in the back and set fire to his home. I arrived in time to save his son, who was badly burned on his left shoulder. The thumb was crushed on his right hand. I took the boy away to some distant relatives of mine, where I knew he'd be raised and looked after properly. I kept in touch with him until a few years ago. And then, for some unknown reason, Tracy simply disappeared. Very interesting, Padre. But you've mistaken me for someone else. And now I would like to get some rest, if you don't mind. Good night. the situation, boys. Grayson's ranch is the most isolated. Now, if Clay attacks, you be there to help. If he attacks, we'll be there. Boss, it's the new preacher. I've been waiting for your arrival, Padre. You're welcome here. Might you have a lot more fortune than our other preachers. Mr. Thompson, I must talk with you. More privately. It's a very serious matter. Logan, take all the men out. Talk up, Reverend. That's Mac. He's my trusted right hand. Thank you. You see, Quite a few years back, a man was murdered. Oh. Surprised? Do you see how I went to Thompson's and returned unscratched? But I, but. Even though you were sent to let him know. I, I don't know what you mean. Forget it. What's been happening? Big things. I'll bet you two cents if you like against that outstanding dollar that you owe me, that this town's going to get much harder if you don't get moseying before long. I wouldn't miss the show. They're waiting like hungry beasts to devour each other and then later pounce and get rid of the one that's left. OK. But I asked you what's happening. It seems that Thompson has convinced the cattlemen to join up with him. A lot of them are scared. But Thompson says it's time now for a showdown with Clay and his gunmen. I advise you to move fast. I see. Who is it? Mr. Morgan. Anything new? Not a thing. <laughs> I think I'll take a look around. It's too quiet. Boys, I better warn you, my friend here has a habit of pulling aces out of his sleeve. <laughs> That's the game on his four aces. <laughs> See you later. Ha!
Grayson. Police gunmen have set fire to the ranch. The ranch? Yeah. 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 Grayson's ranch is burning like blazes. Okay. Set fire to the others. That'll teach them a lesson. And my boys? Tell them to get out of the territory as soon as they finish the job. Right. Hold it. Listen, send someone to Thompson with this message. Tell him that I want peace so much that I've let my gunman go. And he can do the same with his. Again, Clay. 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 Looking for me, Grayson? You'd better listen to me, Clay. You've ruined me, and you're going to pay for it. I'm going to kill you. I'm not armed. At least that's so. But what's happened, my friend? What's got into you? Don't play cute with me. Self-defense, right, Sheriff? Self-defense. George! George! <laughs> George! Let me go! It's too late. Here. You've had quite a shock. Tracy, do you mind waiting? She may need you. It's not my business. And yet you stop her from entering that saloon? Let's say it's not a place for a lady. Feeling better now? If I ever get my hands on that big clay, ouch, take it easy. You can be sure that no matter how much it costs me, I will give him a good kick with this leg. Well then, what's our move now, Thompson? I don't know. Clay's winning the game now. All the ranchers are pretty well scared. I can't get him to make a move at all. You give it up? Solely because he sent a man here to tell you. He let his gunman go. Don't tell me he's fooling you. Can't believe that. Of course not. But you see my hands are tied, don't you? If his men are gone, then the law will be protecting him. Boss, a bunch of the hands have left. And all of it because of Clay. Those cowards. It's all right. Don't worry, Thompson. Four aces and I will be staying. We're professionals. So we'll stick around to the finish. Regardless. Thanks, boys. I'm afraid I have nothing better to offer you. Well, have you found your man yet? No questions. A question is not enough. But it can be enough to avoid a mistake. I 
I've spoken to Thompson. He knows nothing about Django's death. At first, I thought of revenge. But I realized that another killing or a hundred killings wouldn't bring back Django. I'd still have the empty feeling inside of me. For this reason, I changed my way of life. The conquering sword shall vanish. The Bible also says, an eye for an eye. With guns, it doesn't work that way, Tracy. Well, I better go. A very interesting story. been hoping to find you. Yeah? Thompson sent me. He's got the information you want. He wants to have a word with you. When? Around midnight, just like he said. In Jesse's old hay barn. It's up north of town. You wait there. I'll wait. Okay. Deb will take you to the Laurel Ranch outside of town. When things calm down, I'll send for you. Thank you, Padre. Go ahead, bud. Right. Ah! Mrs. Grayson, wait a minute. My wife will take care of you. I'll go and get her. Thank you. I'll wait.
You said it. <laughs> well, look who it is. What do you want here? Mr. Clay, please. What do you want with Clay? Someone to comfort you? Beth! Beth, let her go! Mr. Clay! Mr. Clay, I must speak to you. Mrs. Grayson, I'm sorry about what happened. But your husband left me no alternative. Yes, I know, Mr. Clay. But this is an urgent matter. Please, I have to speak to you. Yes, but not here. Where? Will you follow me? Thank you. The boss is smart, huh? By finishing off the old husband, he walks away with the girl. <laughs> I admire you, Jane, and you know that. Like a drink? No, thank you. I need help, Mr. Clay. I'm alone and have nothing left. There's me, Jane. And I want to help you. After all, I need a woman like you. Soon all of Topeka will be mine. To have a woman like you at my side would complete my success. And you're my kind of woman. Beautiful, intelligent, full of fire. I'm sure we could get along. And where do you get the idea that I want you? My darling, you're a woman who knows what she wants. Grayson was the wrong man for you. I'll make you happy. And you'll have everything you want. Everything. Yes. Everything. Murderer. Thompson, come on in. You ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Hello, 
close the door. Teach him a lesson. He's yours. <laughs> so you see now, he's gone and left. I saw Mac, who was there talking to Jeff just before he left town. He went north, I think. All right, thank you for coming. Good night. like Thompson. You weren't lucky enough. Come looking for me and now look at yourself. In my hands. Go ahead, boys. <clears throat> taught him a lesson. Stop right there, Clay. Stand steady. Padre, it's none of your business. Don't you mix up in this. He's mine. Ugh. Stop, I said. Do as he says. For a new preacher, the man sure stepping on the wrong toes, eh, boys? <laughs> Hurricane! <laughs> Drop your guns. Your gun belts, too. I'll count to three. One. Two. Preacher? If you have a sniffle of sense, get out of town. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have tried to stop me. All right, then. There'll be a visitor coming, and we'll be ready. Gonna be here soon enough. I want everybody out of the saloon. Hey, you round up all the boys in town quick. Everybody out! Out! Didn't you hear the boss? Get out! Get out of here!
your eyes open, boys. Give them a good reception. Hey, Clay, I wonder what reaction Thompson's going to have when he sees I've given him the double cross, eh? Get out of town the same way you rode in. Turn your horses. Get out of our way, preacher. Clay's riders turn away from town with a pistol. The new preacher? Yeah, and then there's that quiet stranger holding off Clay and all of his men in the saloon. Slim, get Logan. I want all the men ready to ride. Right. Good shooting, Reverend. Thank <laughs> you. 
What do you want? My share, Clay. I earned it. Why do you think that I've been a traitor to Thompson all these years, huh? Sure, Mac. I've sent for the men. They'll clean up on Django's son, Thompson, and all the others. And where will you be? Well, I, I don't understand you. Look, let's go see Hurricane and the boys. See what they think about this. They risk their lives, too. They should have known better, I guess. They should have known that you'd run with the money and leave us here in trouble. Wait, Mac. Wait. Listen to me. Let's make a deal. Huh? What do you say? Look. See? Look! Just in time, Reverend. I see you've paid for your mistakes, sir. happened. Everything. It's our right to punish him this way. 
He broke an unwritten law of the West by shooting a man in the back. That man was... your father. A gunman that has broken fingers won't be killing any more men. What was done to this man will serve as a punishment for the rest of his life. Show his face. 